What's up everybody, welcome back to the Art of Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. In this video, we are going to take a look at Chainlink and figure out exactly if Chainlink is going to start dumping or is it going to start pumping. And if you want to figure out exactly which levels that I will be looking at or at least paying attention to for Chainlink, you're going to want to stick to the end of this video. But right before I get into it, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter at underscore the Art of Crypto, you're going to want to do so. This is where I'm sharing the latest market updates and this is not something that you want to miss out. And if any of you were thinking to dip your toes into NFTs, then and this is an NFT play that you guys could pay attention to. Now, it literally pays to be inside the Discord or be following these NFT projects on Twitter early on because then you'll be included in the pre-sale. And I'm not trying to say this is free money, but usually if you're able to get into an NFT project during the pre-sale, it tends to be pretty profitable. But I'm not going to shill this as a financial play. You know, if you like the art, go for it. If you don't, don't go for it. But either way, I'll leave the link to the Discord channel down there this is a project that i really like and you know check it out you know just a suggestion but anyways right now let's get into chainlink so right off the bat at the moment chainlink is definitely still bullish right on the daily chart because not only have we been breaking through protected highs after protected highs like basically like you know it's just bullish and for chainlink to not be bullish it would have to break below this level right here at 22 dollars in order for it not to be bullish because if you just pay attention here right if i were to draw chain link something like this right as swing lows and swing highs you can see that this candle right here because it is shorter than the two candles right next to it this is your swing low and in order for something to be bullish in fact this right here is a swing low as well in order for something to be bullish in fact right here is another swing low <laughs> I'm sorry. In fact, for something to be bullish, right, you just want to see swing lows get protected, right? Similarly to how I say these are protected highs, and basically all you have to know about protected highs and why they are protected is that imagine if you were an institution and you were shorting Chainlink from anywhere, right, here or here or whatever. As an institution, I do not think that you guys would be willing to put your position into the red by allowing the price to come back up to your entry to, you know, stop you out or to put you at break even. And the reason why I say this is because institutions have the ability to do so, right? They're the ones playing with hundreds of millions of dollars, potentially billions. And if they want to move the markets, they can. Crypto is tiny compared to, say, Forex or gold, and they can move the markets of Forex and gold. It really stands the reason that they can move crypto. So knowing that, the reason why I say you want these protected highs or rather protected lows to be continue to be protected is, you know, if you're bullish on Chainlink, you don't want to see them broken, right? The massive biggest red flag that I would be getting is if Chainlink breaks below potentially this level right here at $22, right? A break below this level would put, you know, Chainlink in quite a precarious situation. If we just draw a FIP from swing top to swing low, you can see that breaking below this would, you know, break below the 0.5 and generally that's not a good sign. So now that we have identified that Chainlink is still bullish, it is time for us to go down to a lower time frame to figure out if there are any entries that we can start buying Chainlink at, especially if we do get a pullback. Now, assuming that, you know, worst case scenario, right? If Chainlink really does break below $22, I would actually be really, really happy, right? Immediately, I'm going to give you guys the exact entry where I would be getting Chainlink at. I would be really happy buying Chainlink in this bullish order block right here. In fact, if we just pay attention to the VPVR indicator, and by the way, this indicator is simply visible range, okay? This is the indicator right here. And yes, you do need a paid TradingView subscription, but think of it this way, right? TradingView is literally like the only tool you're ever gonna need when you're doing your trading. So wouldn't it make sense to, you know, at least invest a little bit of money into the only tool that you're gonna need? So in this case, if we just watch the VPVR indicator right here, you can see that volume really starts to pick up around this bullish order block right here, right? It doesn't really pick up about here, but you know, for all intensive purposes, we're still gonna include it in our bullish order block, and then we can start refining the entries for this block. So assuming worst case scenario, Chainlink does break below $22, then I would still be really happy picking up Chainlink at these levels right here. And I'm just gonna mark it down for you right now. and these levels if you do get here then just make sure you dollar cost average right because these are going to be pretty good entries now am i saying that chain link is going to get to these levels that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that if chain link were to get to these levels it would be absolutely brilliant for you to start buying here and as for the stop loss right these five levels i've marked down already but 
before I start reading them out. Let's just read out the stop loss. And so these levels are going to be $20.3, $20, $19.6, $19.3 and $19.1. And the stop loss is going to be set at about 18.5. If you want to be a little bit more aggressive with your stop loss, you can set it right below the POC. Now the POC is called the point of control and this is where, you know, the most amount of buyers or sellers are involved here, right? This is where the highest amount of market participants are involved and so if you want to set your stop loss below the POC then you're going to want to use six levels to DCA instead right there's going to be 18.4 and your stop loss is going to be right about $18 now if Chainlink does get to any of these levels I would be happy right very happy in fact if you had a thousand dollars to play with this is what I would do right maybe put in two hundred dollars here maybe 150 here 150 here maybe 300 300 you know as it goes down right you get the point right as it goes down you're going to want to increase your positions right this is called dollar cost averaging and pretty much every trader that knows what they're doing is doing dollar cost averaging okay so that is going to be the worst case entry right if chaining were to get to this level this would be very close to the bottom right and if it's not then just pay attention to the next the next order block right here because this is an order block that has not been filled before so if chaining gets even lower right god forbid chaining gets even lower then this is going to be the entry that you're going to want to use and just to bring up another stop loss so let's just read it out the second entry right in case this trade gets stopped out then this is going to be very near the bottom so this trade is going to be 17.2 and 16.8 ish right with a stop loss at about 16 or 16.1 i would go with 16 just to be safe just to allow the price a little bit of wriggle room to play with but this is assuming that chainlink will get to this level right and i'm not saying that a will get to this level what i am saying however is that if they get to this level this is going to be a brilliant place to buy in fact this is where I would concentrate my heaviest buys at. And if you want to get into Chainlink even quicker, right, this is the order block that you're going to want to pay attention to. Now, this is going to be slightly higher risk, but you're going to want to look for a bounce of Chainlink at this level right here at $23, $23.5. And you're going to want to set your stop loss preferably just about here, right? Let me just bring up the stop loss. So you're going to want to set your stop loss right about there. So this is going to be your third entry for Chainlink if you do get into this level. Now, I'm not saying this is very close to the bottom, but I'm saying that it should, right? It should act as strong support. Not only do you get confluence from the VPVR indicator, but if you just draw a fib again, you can see that it's pretty close to the 0.618, which is like the real strong, like super strong level for a fib. So this is going to be the third entry that I'll be looking at for Chainlink. The stop loss is 22.5. Ignore this 22. So now let's discuss some take profits. So what you're going to want to do is you just want to take profits at the previous highs, right? Any previous highs that forms, that's going to be your take profit levels, right? Including like previous protected highs. These levels are going to be like you know, just take profit levels. And am I saying that it's going to get to $44? Is it going to get to like $50? No, that's not what I'm saying. And that's why when you take profit, you scale out, right? So assuming you, Chainlink bounces from this level at 23.5, then what you're going to want to do is as it keeps going up, you're going to want to take 25% here, maybe 25 here, 25 here, and maybe you leave the rest as a moon back for it to go to the moon. And that's how you take profit. And that's how every single trader that knows what they're doing, that's how they're taking profit. So make sure you scale in and make sure you scale out. Similarly to this one, right? If you had $1,000 to play with, 500, 500, right? Always scale in. So these are going to be the sort of snipes, right? I'm known for sniping entries. These are going to be very close to the bottom for Chainlink, or at least if it doesn't get to any of these levels, expect a reaction. Maybe it might not bounce all the way up here, but it should bounce at least like five to 10%. And at the moment, if you feel like this video has been valuable to you so far, I want you to go drop a like button. It's a really small gesture, but it helps so much. So that is in the, you know, that is in the bearish scenario, right? If Chainlink were to get there, we'll be prepared, right? The people who are watching this video, we will be prepared. But what about a bullish scenario? Is there a bullish scenario? Now, I'm just going to draw this line right here. And I know it does not look the prettiest, but you can see that as long as, you know, a pattern has at least two touches, you can see that we have, you know, one touch here, one touch here. So that's two touches over here. We have two touches for sure. And if you want to be, you know, even safer, right? You want to be a little bit more objective, then you can draw your pattern like this. So this is what you call a downwards consolidation pattern. This is called a falling wedge. Generally, downwards consolidation patterns are really bullish. In fact, usually what you'll see happen to price action is that they tend, like the price tends to consolidate downwards into a bullish order block before bouncing. So I'm going to want to mark down this level 
for Chainlink at about $25.5, right? If Chainlink were to break out of this level, again, this is $25.5. I know there have been a lot of levels that I've just drawn in this video, you're going to want to pause the video later and make sure you mark it down. I will give you time to do so later. But for now, pay attention. $25.5. If you do get a break above this level, then you could potentially go in for a long. And for the take profits for longs is similar to, you know, if you were to be sniping the entry. That would be about $27. That'll be $30, right? You can feel free to screenshot it right now. That's $32.75, $35.255, and then the rest up here. So that's going to be your take profit targets. So the method that you're going to want to enter is as it's breaking out, right? You just you just buy along with the breakout, or when it breaks out, you can buy the bullish retest. Now, the reason why I suggest both of these entries is you can literally set your stop loss just right below, right? You can just set it right below the previous swing low because you know that. A breakout is supposed to you know break out and if it does fall back into the pattern and stop you out then hey that's cool right it's perfectly fine to get stopped out in fact some of the best traders in the world they even them they're wrong about half the time and so it's perfectly fine to get stopped out what it's not fine is for any single mistake to wipe out your account so similarly you're going to want to take profit scale in scale out and right before i get into one last thing if you've been watching my videos right and you feel like, hey, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. Or maybe you've been following my channel for a while and you're like, hey, this guy seems to be right a lot of the time. And yeah, that's true. I am right a lot of the time. And if you just want to learn how to do the things that I do, you're going to want to consider joining the private Discord group. Over here, you're going to get access to everything that I've learned over the years. You're going to figure out what works, what doesn't, and just probably everything that you're going to need to become a proficient trader. But not only that, as a bonus, you're going to get access to, you know, my thoughts on the market and my daily profitable trading setups along with my sniper traits. Over here, we are making money every single day. And there's probably many people in this Discord group who have already already paid off their memberships real quick. So what, I'm, what am I trying to say? It's probably going to pay itself off, not only in the knowledge that you're going to acquire, but in the calls that I'm going to make as well. So if you're interested, make sure you head to the link in the description and check it out. I will be considering opening the monthly signups this month, but don't take my word for it yet. I am simply considering. And yeah, here's some time for you guys to screenshot the levels that was previously mentioned. And I just want you guys to pay attention to one last thing, right? Chainlink, if we go onto the weekly chart, Chainlink could literally retrace any of these order blocks right here and bounce and we would still be bullish. Okay, here's why. If we just go onto the Chainlink weekly chart and I hide all my drawings, you can see that Chainlink has been sort of, you know, just imagine things in ebbs and flows, right? Highs and lows. So you can see here, it, it sort of looks like this, right? And if Chainlink were to retrace to any of those levels that I mentioned before, it would literally still be a low, like a high low over here, if you can see that, right? And if you do pick up Chainlink at any of those levels, right? Expect these highs to get attacked, right? As long as we remain bullish, we are going to attack previous highs. And that means Chainlink is gonna get to 32, Chainlink is gonna get to 35, it's gonna get to 44, and it's definitely gonna get to 50, okay? as long as we remain bullish. But what we need for that to happen is to form a higher low on the higher time frame. So literally, like don't panic, okay? If you are watching this until this point, you should not be panicking if you get any dips. Any dips are for buying, okay? Because we are in a bullish situation right now. Remember in the beginning of the video, I said that all of these protected highs were getting attacked, right? That means that Chainlink is bullish. Institutions are bullish on Chainlink. So any pullbacks are for buying. Heck, you could even buy Chainlink right here, but I've already given you the bullish entry. So make sure you pay attention to that. So as long as it doesn't break below this level, really, like at 13.5-ish, as long as it doesn't break that level, if it does break this level, then we are going back to $5, like mark my words. If it does break this low right here, we're going straight down, right? It's bear market, period. No, no questions asked. But until we do, any pullbacks are for buying because, you know, we're still bullish, right? If we do form a high low, bam, that's brilliant. So make sure you take advantage of dips. Dips are for buying. Don't fall prey to, you know, that saying that goes, everybody wants a dip until it happens and then everyone's suddenly scared, right? Don't, don't do that. But anyways, I've already given you the exact entries that, you know, I would really, really love to buy Chainlink at and preferably that's going to be somewhere within the $20 range. Now, as a bonus for you sticking around to the end of this video, here is your promised bonus trade. So the coin that we are going to be looking at today 
is going to be CELR, right? The seller network. This is going to be on Binance and this is the order block that we are going to be taking advantage of. This is a trait that I have caught in my private Discord group. So if you want to get more of these kinds of sniper traits, literally what I'll do is I'll just give the entry, you set the entry, you set the stop loss, you set the take profit, and then you forget about it, right? It's as simple as that. So this is going to be a pretty good trade because you know the risk to reward is pretty favorable, right? There is going to be two entries that I will be looking at, and that is at 0 0.038 and 0.037-ish, right? 0 0.037, let's actually just move that up just a tiny bit, right? Because we want to take advantage of that high volume node. So about 0.0371-ish, okay? And just, yeah, that's about right. So these two entries, right? 0.0384 and 0.0371-ish, okay? And for your stop loss, it's going to be at about 0.36, like 0.036. That's going to be a stop loss. In fact, I'm actually going to set it lower at 0.0355. So doing this, we are just taking advantage of this order block. As for your take profits, it's going to be, as I said, previous highs. But just for everyone that is watching, here is going to be your take profits for this trade. So right about there, right? So 0 0.041, 0 0.0437, 0 0.048-ish, 0 0.0514. So that's going to be your take profit zones. And as always, you know, just mark down the, you know, the previous highs, right? At 0 0.059, I, I can leave this to you guys to do it. But that is your bonus trade for the day. You literally just set an order here. If it gets stopped out, then so be it. This is a calculated trade our potential reward right for a about five to six percent stop loss our potential reward is at least like at least 1.35 potentially 2.5 and potentially even higher and i don't know about you but i would take that trade any day of the week so for those of you who stuck around until this point please comment down in the comment section seller or just c-e-l-r right c-e-l-r so i know who are the real ones that have stayed until this point and i hope you're ready for Chainlink, right whatever that happens right Chainlink is bullish right Chainlink is a good project i hold it in my long-term bag and let's go Chainlink, right so remember if you just want to learn how to do this for yourself or maybe get access to all of my daily trades make sure you check out the private discord group and with that said my friend may the gains be with you and peace <music>